Science Show. My name is Haley, but more importantly, you have already been acquainted with the True Stars Show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of our male California sea lions. It is, isn't it? This is Rob. He's 18 years old. He was born right here at the St. Louis Zoo. Can you say hello to everybody, Rob? Good job, buddy. Now, you did hear me correctly. Robbie is a sea lion. And as a sea lion, Robbie has several adaptations that help him survive and thrive in his breed environment. So today, my buddy Rob and I thought we would share some of those incredible adaptations with you all. Now, the first adaptation that we're going to talk about are Robbie's two very large and powerful front flippers. Let's see if you show them off. He's got a flipper on both sides of his body. Can you show me your flipper? There's one. We've got one on this side as well. Good job, Rob. These front flippers are extremely useful on land, allowing sea lions to navigate the rocky shores of the West Coast where they're commonly found. But my buddy Rob here has also got some pretty good dance moves. <laughs> good job, Rob. Now, these front flippers are also extremely powerful. Robbie is just under 600 pounds, and he's actually able to support all of that body weight just on these two front flippers, kind of like a handstand. So we're going to see if you can show off just how powerful these front flippers are. of just how well his members work on land and in the water. We're going to send it up to the highest point of our stage and see if he can use those front members to propel himself out of the water through this hoop. Thank you. 
that's got great information about what types of seafood are safe to eat and what types we should avoid so that everyone has enough seafood out there. Now, I feel like there is something else I'm forgetting to tell these guys, is there, Rob? There is. Okay. Would you like to share it with them? <laughs> of course. I almost forgot. Robbie also wants to remind everyone out there to bring your reusable bag with you when you do any type of shopping, just like he did. These two simple actions will help keep our oceans healthy, clean, and filled with fish for future generations to come. Now, unfortunately, we have reached the point in the show where it's time for my buddy and Robbie and I to head inside, but do not worry, because in just a few moments, you will be joined by another trainer and a sea lion to finish the show out. So, sit back, relax, and someone else will be right up. Bye, everyone. Really proud of the fact that we're able to 
bring our animals really close to our guests, especially our sea lions, and make some really special lasting connections. And speaking of that, Nikki and I, we're going to head out a little bit closer this afternoon, and we're going to need a brave volunteer who wants to help us, who wants to meet Nikki. There's a very important part to this. You have to be able to touch fish, get a little fishy. Oh my goodness, this is the hardest part. All right, tell you what, you know, with a young lady in a white shirt.
<laughs> what can you say about feeding the sea lion? Good. Good, that's it? What Are you else? scared? What else? Are you scared?